Hi guys, this is Anthony, then also my co-speaker, um, Dr. Chin, and actually also Audi Web Jacken, also is a founder of the Bud Wank. Okay, this is a um, Bud Bounty platform for the community. Then we would like to have a 30 minutes talk about this platform and uh, hopefully then it will be helpful to the community and set up uh, their okay, own guys, bounty. Off you go. Bounty as a as for the community. Hi, this is Anthony, then also my co-speaker, um, Dr. Chin. And, and I'm and from, from the founder of uh, and the founder of the Rix RL and the Rix and and this also I'm fun. doing my part-time PhD part -time candidate. Um, actually in the HK, uh, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology and focus on the vulnerability research and malware and some machine learning. And last year I have uh, submitted bugs for the web kit and also submitted some, uh, a bug for, for some simple uh, educational web, web, web systems. And I'm also the mentor of the best of the best program in Korea. And I could meet many um, youngsters uh, Korean hackers and do some training for them. And my pressure yes, is I also do, uh, I'm invited to be the judge for the Chiffin to Porn contest um, last year in the Dubai. And I'm also the CFPB report member uh, of Red Hat Asia mm -hmm. and Hat in the Box. And Dr. Chin is uh, also my good friend and also my good teacher. And uh, he's now. Uh, is now in Nanyang Te Technological University in Singapore, and he's the PhD of computer science. And his focus, I think, you have known a lot of his tools on Capstone Disassembler, Unicorn Emulator, Keystone Assembler. So you should be not, you should know him very well uh, with his a lot of tools. Even for me, I use his tool for some research and analysis. And that's and also his research focus on binary analysis, virtual machine operating system. And he is also a frequent speaker and in Red Hat, United States, Europe, Asia, DEF CON, RECON, Hack in the Box, and SISCAN. And why for us want to do the bug bounty? And actually, you know, more um, sometimes, and because I'm also doing the penetration test for my customer, but this is a problem is you do the penetration test for one shot, or maybe one, once a year, or pure Oracle penetration test. But you can't do it every day for them. So for Bug Bounty, it helps for more eyes to keep, and to keep track and, and keep an eye on your system, your app or application. You want to get more people to, to check any vulnerabilities and bugs for your systems and find the problems. And you may, and it is not limited to some kind of tender or some kinds of like um, particular big band of company. Maybe those, but Hunter is a is a genius. They're very young, and but they are very interested in a lot in hunting the bugs. They got skills, so that's why it helps for you to open your world, or, or I mean your system to other people to test. And at the same time, is um, you can save your money. Sometimes I, I've seen some of customers, they, they spend a lot of money to, to do the penetration test, but they, they just, the, 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 the consultant company just sends some junior or junior consulting or penetration tester to test the system. Um, testing always depends on one um, experience, all right? But the problem is sometimes if the experience and the knowledge is not broad enough or deep enough, they cannot uncover the bugs, all right? But you pay the money, but you cannot, can't, can't see, can't get something important to you. And bug hunting is not a rocket science. It's not a new thing. And like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Mozilla, PayPal also have bug bounties. Even you know, some porn website, Pornhub, <laughs> they also got bug bounty, right? So that's why not just a, a new or innovative things, but hopefully to open this well to the people, to hand the bugs. And also then the bug bounty platform, you know a lot of very famous one like HackerOne and BugCrowd. So they also are available to you um, to, to join the community. I mean, I mean say to join the platform, to, to experience what is bug hunting, all right? And there are many bug, hunt, bug bounty platforms, but there's a, there's 
a difference. Our, our proposed platform, but rank, can you say, hey, we are proposed to the community. We do it for the well-known white, white hat hackers. We support end-to-end -end encryption. And even the platform, platform staff or, or the engineer cannot decrypt or find a secret between the, the butt hunter and the um, program owners. They verify the books, all right? This is for long, long, long profit making non-profit making and it's an open platform and Audi Red Dragon is now preparing and his team and also preparing how to um, the code to open open to the public so that you can build your own um, bounty platform and program um, in your company or in your or even in your community all right and people could like with the skilled and passionate people could in the could support the but uh, but wank and to verify the report. That means some companies or some parties may not have people may not have professionals or knowledge enough to verify the bugs. And our platform support. You could invite different people to verify the bugs for you, or for the for the program owner. And the reward and the, I mean the bounty could be paid through the United States dollars and cryptocurrency, and. There are some not implement uh, functions like decentralized uh, decentralized identity and banking. So that's why then, but bank is not just for commercial. I mean, it's for the community for you to proceed to hold your own bounty campaign or bounty platform. And uh, very luckily, then we have got different communities right now. We got Wean Security Hat in the Box, AV Tokyo from Tokyo. All right, and different, and also uh, very changed. Um, my fund organization, Rixau and Rixgon, and Jeff from Japan Hackers Party, and Trader Hacking from uh, also another community from Bilam, and support the but wank. All right, and developed so development. So that's why hopefully more community could join us to support this platform and could open this platform later on to the people and hold it by themselves to make our world safer. So right now I pass my stage to um, Dr. Trin and he is going to uh, explain about some features for you. All right? Okay, let me share my okay, screen. Okay, Dr. Trin, I pass the stage to you yes. and then you could um, I, I, you could share your screen. Okay, okay can you see that? Okay, so Queen is here. Let's look at the main features of background. So you can see that there are many uh, bug bounty platforms such as uh, HackerOne or Background. What makes background different is that our platform is open and non-profit. So the bug reporting process is still the same in background. We start with the vendors list, list their programs on background and then the hacker join to find bugs. Then they submit the bugs to our platforms. After that, the vendor will validate the submission, then reward the hackers for the good report. They will together show the issues and the process in repeat with the other bugs. Okay, let's look at some of the main features of background. First one is hacktivity. This allows users to see the list of bugs submitted by the hackers. The guests can also see the list of already disclosed bugs. Users and guests can also find the programs listed on the platforms with all the details. Each program will show some specific policy, bounty, and so on for the access. The whole of fame will show the achievement for both vendors and hackers. We will also list the price and ranking so the hackers can compete with each other. Another feature is dashboard. 
which allow companies and hackers to follow their tasks easily. Hackers can choose to only show limited information to the public. So to set up the uh, program, the vendor need to set up the policy and assets first. Backline also provides many aspects to help companies, to help vendors to set up their own program. Okay, here's one feature that make Backline stand out is our end-to-end -end encryption. We use open PGP to encrypt the back reports, so even Backline staff cannot see anything. Also, the entire communication between companies and hackers is encrypted. In the future, we also plan to provide blockchain-based encryption, as well as decentralized ID and ranking. So when hackers submit the report, they are required to input many details about the bugs. The hackers can also choose to encrypt the report so only company and related members can see the details. Finally, company and hackers can see the list of the open reports and work together to solve the issues. After that, company can reward the hackers if their submission is good. Okay, now I pass my mic to Anthony. Efforts to verify those um, bugs submit to the program owners. So they spend a lot of resources to verify it and even can't afford a lot of resources or, but bounty may be ignored or left behind. So that's why the reward and also the chance to send the invitation and the behind to receive the invitation, there are some kind of games between and some mechanism between. All right. So this is uh, what I, I'm sorry then because my microphone gets some wrong, get wrong. And every but hundreds, and in this slide, every but hundreds want to target some big brands company. But the issue is for some beginner, like me, beginner but hunter, they don't even offer the choice for me because my reputation is not high enough. And how about the, no, those unknown company or small company or non profit making company? They didn't get enough resources to provide a reward um, to the Bahander. So some at once Bahander or some Bahander cannot may not be feel interest in those company. All right, to do hundred plus for them. So, but for me because I'm not uh, experienced enough, so I got regret as well. So this is why I'm not feel happy. So uh, so I'm now right now I I get back to the. Um, the slide is um, to, in my to-do list to do the recommender system. That means the low phase but hunter can get a chance to start by taking um, the, um, the bug bounty by doing some build NCTF assessment game score and do some trial pilot program invitation tokens so that they could join some their favorite um, bug bounty, bug bounty um, programs. And so that it could also not just focus on some top tier behinders, some intermediate and even some beginner level behinders, they got the chance to join the behinding, the behinding programs. And even the small companies like NGOs, educational units, and um, can be beneficial from the bounty program. Because you know, some of the students and the youngsters may not participate for, for, for the bounty for money or for monetary reward. So that's why we hope to balance between different levels of partners and different size or nature of the companies or organization. This is what, what we call the com for community philosophy. For here, for example, like the, in the advanced the partner and advanced the, uh, and low voice partner, we got different attributes. For example, from uh, we got reputation to see whether you submit a record quality report. You got partner. But report and you could what kind of favorite but report you have wheeled before or browsed before you what kind of but bounty program you follow uh, how much or what is the amount or the price award for but bounty and um, what kind of but bounty program you have joined with different company 
with different business nature. And before you have hundred bucks for them before, and also mention about your educational background, so that we could mix this kind of attributes to make some matching. We we could do different algorithm, but I don't want to talk about this. Looks like a math classes or looks like a um, artificial intelligence classes, but um, we will we'll try to do it is try to adopt some simple algorithm to predict the probability of hunters who are willing to do 100 bucks for a company. And at the same time, which company is, or some company is recommended with some, a group of hunters so that could 100 bucks for them or send an invitation for them and recommend some hunters so that they could send an invitation to them for 100 bucks for them. That's like the skills matching and the budget matching and before uh, between the preference between the flavors and for the algorithm like for algorithm like um the naive based algorithm so that's why it depends on the probability and also different kinds depends on different attributes i have covered so that to calculate uh, finalized the posterior probability so that to make the decision for the recommendation i think some of you guys will take some machine learning 101 or even AI 101, then you will know this kind of algorithm. But it's not limited to this algorithm, but simply just you could we could apply different algorithm to make the matching more intelligent. OK, let me do some demo here. And the demo is um, about um, the butt wank, all right? Just a minute. Okay, actually from here then, uh, for me, it looks, I have logged in as a, a program owners, all right? I have logged in as a program owner. Then you could see it from the settings. I could have my own profile. I could invite my favorite but hunters. Another demo account is Alex. All right, I have sent an invitation to them. And I could add my company members. I could set my program. I could mention which assets, like URL, like software, um, for them for but uh, and include in the program so that people could test it all right and of course you could mention the different the policy the scope what kind of vulnerability could be accepted or not accepted in the policy and as dr chin mentioned about uh, the encryption this is the encryption you could generate a key okay you generate the key so that um uh so that you could allows the behinder to send you the the report with encrypted with encrypt with your with the program owner public key so that you could use your own private key to decrypt it to see the message all right and of course you could allow to change the password so when you see it like this you can see hey um for example like text testing hkpc okay so you could check like different summary Okay, and the program is here. My report actually is my report testing HKPC. I could upload my private key to decrypt it, and you could check all the content. If I didn't upload my private key, the program owner it cannot be seen. All right. So, and you could also see you could see um the the non-encrypted report for example some uh is it encrypted by the public uh by um the annex okay by the key so you could see the status how do we follow up the report and how to change the state and give the bounty out right so this is looks like very similar to different very famous bounty platform about it and 
And also, there's a interesting thing is every time the state is is changed, and also um, you have interaction with the bot hunters, you could get the notification here. All right. For example, the payment received, the new report is submitted report, so that you could follow it follow it up very easily. All right. So this is um, the presentation about demonstration. At least you know about um, this but wank platform. Just a minute. And lastly, And this is our um, the link, so that we are right now reviewing and queuing up the source code for the public release in the but in the HTTPS uh, butwank.io. Then we have also a Twitter um, at butwank underscore io, or you can send email to rd or, or me dafoy at bxrl.hk, so that you could try out the beta version, and you could follow up follow our Twitter to see our updates. Hopefully, uh, I'm sorry about my mic got some stuck before and and I'm apologize about it. Hopefully you enjoy your our, our presentation. All right. So this is um my end of presentation. Okay, thank you.